Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is Man Games Tycoon 2. My console challenge run, I'm trying to sell as many consoles as possible. We're doing okay, but we are not really keeping up with the Atari 2600. We're trying. We're beating a lot of these other crappy consoles, but this arcade 2640 kind of came out of nowhere. It just came out like, what, like two months ago, and it sold 6 million units already? I don't know <laughs> where that came from. I can't sell that kind of units, right? Like, I sell 40,000 and 28,000 per week, you know, and I'm happy with that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to just, you know what, I'm just going to keep on keeping on, though. Um, tech Level 2 consoles will be coming soon. We're researching some Tech Level 2 stuff here. We still have a few to go. I am going to wait until we have Tech Level 2 in everything. Um, and I, I checked the wiki and... I think it all comes out in October of this year. So we have a couple of months to get this other stuff researched. And then we can research that and then we got to get it out. And I also, I looked it up again, kind of cheating, but it's fine. Um, the, the NES or this version's, this game's version of the NES comes out in July of 83. So can I get a tech level two console out before that? Cause I got to do the research and then do the console. I'm feeling like it's going to be really tight. I feel like I'm going to have to hire a couple extra console people. And there isn't really, I guess I could hire Oli here. Gets sick all the time though. I guess I could use my marketing team to find some. I need a bigger marketing team. I need to buy, I need to buy this property just so I can get a bigger marketing team. Because I don't really have space for it anywhere else. But we almost have enough money to do that, so that'll be soon. Um, first things first, though, I am going to... I'm going to do a sports game, I think. Sports is relatively popular. We haven't done it yet, which will get us uh, an achievement. Um, which will be nice. Achievements are nice. I'm not sure what the bonus is for a sports game. Let's find out. I don't think it's console sold. Tra oh, training speed. I know it's only 1%, but hey, it all adds up. All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a sports game. Get this stuff researched. Um, and I'll come back and, you know, keep you updated. Okay, I got that sports game out there. Old Blue Chara Bowl. Um, actually, the first sports game on the market. Like, period. The first sports game ever. Which is cool. I'll take it. That's a little feather in my cap. But we got, okay, new uh, graphics chip, new sound chip, new whatever chip that is. <laughs> it is a processor. Processor chip. Um, but we need to research them all. So our research is almost done on the of the, of the case. But, eh, God, it's going to be, it's like a month for each of these. It's going to be January, and then we got to make the console. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to beat Nintendo to market. I just, I really don't. Um, so I'm making another platformer here now. I did buy this. Uh, the, the other big news, we got a nice big lounge, nice big toilets area. Um, it's got lots of space in here and a huge marketing department. But I'm trying to fill up the marketing department, right? They're looking for more office workers. We can fill this so we can do marketing quickly. Because as it is right now, um, doing a TV spot, is just it just takes too long. But we need to look for some hardware people. There's none. There's literally none in the market right now. Um, so let's train these folks one more time, probably. At least at least one more time. They're getting really good. Um, look, look at those scores. That's, that's pretty good. We got some quality people there. So I'd like to find a couple more ops workers and then find a couple more hardware people. And we'll see. All right. Um, and QA is currently not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Well, they're doing exactly what I told them to do, but I got to remember to watch them because I got to put them to improve um, uh, Ninjutsu 2. So right now they're just doing game reports. They're getting caught up on old game reports, which is fine. And all right. So we made a little bit of money off our subsidiary. Money's rolling in pretty good. Like I just spent a hundred million. I'm already back up to, to 20 million in the bank, right? So money is not really a big concern anymore, I wouldn't say. All right, so that's another office worker. All right, one more office worker, then we're gonna look, okay. <laughs> okay. 
and automation. And let's look for some hardware people. So for the 50 to 55 skill range, it's 25% chance, cost 20 grand. Specialists, only 12% chance, cost 50 grand. And, uh, oh, and I screwed up. I was not. Uh, I forgot to start this research. That is not good. That's going to put me behind. Uh, I lost a couple weeks. Or a week. Still, even losing a week is not good. Uh, God, I'm tempted to, <laughs> tempted to save scum. No, you don't want to save scum. All right, so did I make a sim engine yet? Yes, we're going to make a sim game. Um, is this engine up to date? It is. I, think I haven't made a sim game yet, so I want to get one of those out there, get the achievement. Uh, I just want to make sure that we had the engine ready to go when the time came. All right, so let's uh, make an update for Pirates of the Great Lakes 2. Probably my favorite name <laughs> of a game quite some time. Console sales are strong still. 38,000 of the uh, stationary, 56,000 of the handheld. We're about to go for over 5 million of the VGS. Um, we destroyed our old marketing room, so eventually we're just going to build one giant graphic studio here. Um, you know, once we need it, I'm not going to do it yet. All right, so uh, going to get this research done, start on the console, get some more games out, get some more techs. I mean, how many people can we fit in here? 17, we have 13, so we need four more technicians. I don't need, but it'd be nice to have four more technicians. So hopefully I can find them. And more profit from our subsidiaries, which is always good. All right, I'll be back. It is now the new year. It is 1983. And this research is taking far longer than I would have liked. Uh, if Nintendo is putting out the NES in July of 83, I have like no shot of beating them in the market unfortunately but and i mean i don't know how important that really is and maybe it is important it could be very important i don't know um but i'm definitely not beating him in the market <laughs> um and that's fine but when we get to tech level three i'm gonna try to beat everybody in the market I'm, I'm gonna so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to make a big big research room um somewhere in this building and uh we'll have to go nuts with that Right, like, really, really nuts. Um, all right, so trend, new game, trend is puzzle game. Have I made a puzzle game lately? Not really. Perfect, all right. Sales are really strong right now, though, for my consoles still, which is great to see. I'm just a little, this research is taking too long. Like, I'm going to have to make, like, this size room holds 22. I'm thinking, like, like a 30-person plus research room. And which will allow me to take this space and repurpose it for the technician room. So I'll also have like 30 people in that room, right? It's kind of what I'm thinking. That's where my head's at. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to have to do to be the first with a full tech level three console. But let's see if we make, if we make really good, um, you know, exclusives, maybe we can compete at tech level two. Who knows? We will find out. But yeah, I'll come back. I think when this research is done, and we start the console and we will uh we'll see how that goes <laughs> fingers crossed it is time the research is complete we have a full tech level 2 console ready to go oh walter is walter the best one i guess it's like a tie because we got a bunch of them at 90 from training right i don't think they really get leadership bonuses all right so what do we want to call this the luchera Ah, Luchera. Super System. I think that's the exact same name I used for my Tech Level 2 console in my stream <laughs> the last week or two weeks ago, whatever it was. We will go with two controllers. Um, case 2, Controller 2. Let's go with a different color, nice little purple. Purpley pink, mauve, I don't know, somewhere in that range. What game do we want to include? Um, Alien Quest 4. By the time, by the time this gets out, it'll be close to being off the market. Or do we want to include like a new game? 
like First Fantasy V, which is a really good game. Ooh, can I do Angel's Tears 5? No, uh, I have Angel's Tears 6 in development. I was wondering if it would let me include that. But it does not appear that it does. So yeah, let's put First Fantasy V. Let's go with a good game. Let's see if that helps sales, right? Include everything we can there, obviously. But it is, I mean, it's the start of April. I, I just, I do not think they're going to get this console out in three months. Right, so we're not going to beat Nintendo to market, unfortunately. Um, lots of uh, gameplay. Now, there is, you'll notice, there is hardware research there. But it's uh, it's the case for the handheld, which there's no rush on. Let's get this these gameplay features. Let's get the Eco Sim first, then the gameplay features. Then we'll do the, uh, the handheld case, because we need the screen. Or we can make a Tech Level 2 handheld anyway. So there's no great rush. And then we're going to have to obviously market that console. And that's fine. Yeah, First Fantasy V, that's for a manufacturer exclusive. Those are big sales numbers. Like, really big. Um, what else is doing well? Ninjut Ninjutsu 2 is doing pretty well. Let's do a second one for that. Second update. Okay. All right, so Angel's Tears will be ready as soon as the marketing is ready here. Plus, oh, plus we did overhype for First Fantasy V. I guess that's probably helped sales as well. It's obviously not hurting sales. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get this out. going to hype up this console. We're going to come back. We're going to be sad because we probably don't beat Nintendo to market. But that is fine. We, we didn't really expect to. Now, Tech Level 3, we're going to try to beat at Nintendo and everybody else to market. Will we? Maybe. But even still, we're going to be close behind Nintendo. Well, 10% <laughs> and took mm, three weeks for 10%. Yeah, we're going to be a few months behind, at least. That's fine. That's not a big deal. Anyway, I'm going to work on this. Come back when this console is ready to go. And we'll see how good it is. My console is ready to go. Nintendo beat me to market by four months. Uh, that's frustrating. All right, it's fine though. Maybe, maybe it's fine. So we'll, we'll we're gonna try automatically holding a ten dollar profit again. I think. Yeah. Let's go eight. Let's go eight dollars. Let's make it a little cheaper. I think that's fair. See if that helps sales. We want to drive sales, but I mean, we we need our, our consoles to be profitable as well. Um, that's a big chunk of our profit, right? Because we're making all the exclusive games. So the VGS sales are going to take uh, a turn for the worse here once this comes out. But hey, we sold 7 million of them. Nothing wrong with that. It'll still sell. It's just not going to sell quite as well. Um, we also have an exclusive game for this coming out. Ooh, 5 star, 8.8, 8.9. And a 10. I will, I'm okay with that. That's good. All right, so now we get nothing to do in this room. <laughs> I hate the fact that they just sit idle, right? Like, I mean, I could train them, I guess. But, I mean, so few of them even need training at this point. Right? Like, well, not a lot of Enough of them need training, so. <laughs> Might as well train them. Better than sitting around doing nothing, right? All right, so we're just waiting for the graphics team to finish. Because uh, the graphics team was actually in training. Ooh, look at this. 2.2 million for engine engine uh, licensing, whatever you want to call it. All right, so the graphics team is done. So we can put this out. And this is exclusive just for the new console, not exclusive to all my consoles, right? I just wanted to do one. We can, we could self-distribute. I did unlock publishing, but I don't, have the, I don't have the thing set up for it yet. Also, we spent 100 million to increase Kamani's market strength to five star. So that will, that's also gonna help my sales, right? My uh, my game sales, which in a roundabout way helps my console sales. So yeah, so the VGS sales fell off a cliff whenever the super system came out, but that's how it's gonna be, right? We always gotta chase the new one. But, so obviously we did not compete with Atari. Um, we competed with everything else. But we did not compete with the Terry. Only 86%, huh? Huh. That's kind of worse. But, I mean, sales of the Super System are strong. So let's take a look at the charts here. 
<laughs> Nintendo, the Nintendo has already sold almost 13 million units. Insane. But other than this arcade system and the Atari, we did good. Like look at look at all the systems down below us, right? That's that matters. That's we're feeling pretty good. And like I said, this it's still gonna get sales, just not quite as many. Um, so here's the thing. We can we do have tech level two engine features now. Um, but if we include them, we can put it for the super system, but we, we gotta exclude the pocket and the VGS. And I think for the most part, I'm gonna do games that are for all three consoles. So that means they gotta stay tech level one, which might hurt my review scores, which might hurt my sales a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. So like, for example, okay, so what what's reasonably popular right now, uh, genre wise? That we haven't done lately. Um, we could do. We could do another role playing game. We just did sports. No, actually, let's do an action game. So let's just check. So my action engine isn't up to date fully because we don't have this tech level two stuff, but we're not going to include the tech level two stuff, right? We're just going to do tech level one. We're going to get this out. We're going to do a sequel. What is my action? Angel Descent. Did we have we not done a sequel to that? Or Pirates of the Great Lakes, which is about to come out the market. All right, let's see if we can make this into a uh, a good IP. Right now, it doesn't have a lot of IP value, but that's on the up and up. So we'll do B plus. Although we might have to do size A. We're getting close. Um. So. Action engine, manufacturer exclusive. There we go, three systems. So soon it'll be four, right? Once we get our handheld, we'll be able to do uh, manufacturer exclusives that have four. So we're maxed out everything, right? Cause we're still doing the tech level one stuff. That's okay. Everything looks good here. Oh yeah, we're, if we want to include every feature, we got to do size A. So this is my first size A game. It's going to be expensive, but hopefully it's good. <laughs> my fingers are crossed wish me luck folks I'm going in okay things are happening we have a new Q, a new bigger qa room still need some people in here um so we still have this other qa room i i like having two qa rooms um especially if you want to put out a lot of add-ons which i haven't really been doing um gonna need a bigger sound room soon um i also did a little just a little setup for uh for publishing, um, I'm, I am going to self-publish one game. Um, I just get rid of all these. Well, there's a way to just get rid of these. Like, if that's one thing I could suggest, the developer. Like, if I right-click on those, they go away. That would be fantastic. Um, research. We are trying to stay up on top of our research. Let's do this engine feature. So we now have a full tech level 2 engine features. So once this research is done... We're gonna update our RPG engine. So first fantasy is our biggest uh, IP, 3.6 IP value. So as soon as this is done, we're gonna upgrade our RPG engine and we're gonna make an exclusive for our new console of that. And it should be good, hopefully. Um, also of note, our handheld has passed our stationary console in sales. Um, the stationary console is still selling, not real well. Um, and actually this one's not selling all that hot either if I'm being honest. I'm a little disappointed in that, but it's not a lot of games for it, right? And I mean, we're not, we're, we're nowhere near Nintendo. So the, the Mintendo is about to pass the Katari, but the Luchera Pocket might catch this arcade 2640 because I feel like this is not selling anymore. It came in hot, sold a ton, like that first year, and then it hasn't really sold much since. That's how it seems anyway. But I guess it is summer right now, so all all sales are, are down a bit. Um, but how close are we? And we got the big console room now, the big research room, right? Like, so what are we going to do with these folks? We're, we're waiting for this to be done. So let's, um, we might as well get all these folks to polish this add-on for a little bit, just to give these teams something to do while we wait for... Uh, you know, the research to be done there. Um, all right, which of these games has been out longer? 
have a lot of aliens and angels and <laughs> it'd be hard to keep track of what's what. All right, so we'll do an update for that. Beautiful. Any commission work down here? No. The reason they're not training is because they're they're all over 90 skill. Right? So that's why they're just sitting there twiddling their thumbs. Um, what could use a demo? Oh, lots of stuff doesn't have a demo. Of course, a couple of them uh, were overhyped, so demo doesn't really do anything. Doesn't really help. That's where we're at. How close? I mean, we don't have we don't have the the screen. Um, so we got a new sound chip. That's like the only thing I think, though. Like the only thing that has a second tech level two, a better tech level two thing. So we're we're I'm gonna say we're probably a ways away from actually getting a, a handheld. But you never know. There might be a bunch of technology just get dumped all at once, right? Which sometimes happens. All right, so I'm gonna come back. I'm once I I'm really excited about this this new first fantasy because that's our best that's our best IP. I want to see what that can do. How many I want to see how many consoles that will push out. I'm hoping a lot. Fingers crossed. All right, so I got that RPG done. It reviewed really well. It had a 98% review score, um, which is tied for the best one I think I've had. I've had a few. Of course, they're all <laughs> part of the first fantasy series. Um, yeah, 97.9 or 98 press. Users 97.9, but it's not selling real well because it's exclusive for the you know my console that doesn't have crazy high. I mean, there's still 2.9 million people have one of these. I'm hoping the sales go up though. Um, well, Terra Pocket's still selling really well, and actually. My old consoles kind of spiked back up at sales over 14,000 this week. Be nice if it ended up hitting 10 million. That'd be a nice, you know, a nice bar to, to get over. Um, Chair Pocket's definitely going to get over 10 million for sure. I have a little doubt about that. Which would be good because I want to pass this stupid 2640. But yeah, the Nintendo has shot way past the Katari. Katari has slowed way down as expected. Super system is moving up. We're getting closer to, uh, we got another, we got a new sound chip here. We're getting closer to getting our hand held out, but I'll ultimately be, we'll, yeah, ultimately we'll be waiting on the screen. Uh, I did take a contract to publish uh, an, an NPC game. So that's what this is. I mean, we're gonna, I think I'll, I'll probably self publish one of my own games because that's also an achievement. And after that, I'm gonna get rid of these rooms because I'm probably gonna put another training room in. I'm gonna need a bigger sound studio. Um, probably need a bigger development room at some point as well. This, this space will all be used by the time I'm done for sure. But yeah, I'm a little, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed with the sales on this first fantasy six and maybe they'll come along, right? Maybe they'll, you know, word of mouth will get out there. Nope. Kind of looks like it went back down. Did it win game of the year? Well, one game of the year. That was good timing for me to be recording. Oh, well, speaking of tech, we got more. So yeah, so the screen I think is probably coming soon. Let's let's stay on top of everything and make sure we have everything else ready to go for when the screen hits. And then we'll start our next handheld. Which unfortunately will kill sales for our old one. But all right, so let's also do an update for First Fantasy VI. Let's see if we can grease the wheels a little bit here. Between that and game of the year, let's see if the sales go back up. Oh yeah, and I'm also making my first ever fighting game. Um, it's looking okay. Got to get some um, subsidiary. Oh, I bought some more subsidiaries as well. Angels Tier Six off the market. Eh, estimated 236,000 consoles moved for that. That's good. So yeah, we gotta wait till fight night gets marketed a little better. Yeah, so when this is done, it'll be a hundred. Then we can do special marketing, then we can get that out the door. Do this commission work. Alright, so I'm gonna uh just keep plugging away here. Um I'll be back probably one more update before the end of this video. Oh, let's train these folks up one more time. Yeah, well, my kids gonna be way more than one more time <laughs> by the time we're done. First console over 10 million. Yay, Lachera Pockets over 10 million. Um, 
they, and the super system are both selling really well right now uh the, the holiday season was really kind to them too you can see the nice spike in sales they had bgs is still chugging along um it's gonna get over eight million here soon i doubt it'll ever get over you know 10 but the pocket did pocket's coming for this we're not going to catch the nintendo we're not going to catch the atari 2600 but tech level three we're going to be first we're going to get there first i'm i'm committed to it we're our research team's getting big our console team is a total of 24 people so it's getting big so we should be able to get through that really quick um how are the sales of first fantasy 6 doing not that good Although it's going to be profitable. We're going to make our money back. We did have our first console exclusive for the Super System because it was so new. It actually lost money. But, I mean, we're making so much money. We're making money from our engines, from subsidiaries, right? Like, we're not we're not hurting for cash by any stretch. So we just put out another RPG. Just wanted to jam a quick one out. Um, but it's getting to the point, I think, if I make stuff for tech level 1, it's starting to hurt my review score a bit because, I mean, this was an RPG, which we're really good at making, and I only got a 92. So I think I think the, um, the little chair pocket and the little chair VGS, I don't know how many more games we're going to make for that. Maybe we'll sneak out one every now and then, especially once we get the new handheld, which should be in the next episode because the only thing we need, um, this is all higher level Tech 2 stuff except for the data carrier we haven't had yet. And we still need to screen, obviously. So once those two come, I'm going to research quick, going to bang out a nice handheld. We still have... The chair pocket is the only handheld in the market. Market share 100%. I'm not sure what year the Game Boy comes out. I'm sure that's going to, you know, probably absolutely annihilate me. But, hey, we're going to keep chugging away. We're going to keep trying. Eventually, <laughs> maybe, maybe we can eventually have the top console skeptical i think it's i don't think it's that you're meant to have the top console but i don't know we'll see we're gonna keep trying that's the important thing anyway i hope you enjoyed the video uh if you did hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already um like i said next episode we're gonna get the, the second hand held out we're gonna see how that does and uh and yeah it should be good follow me on twitter join my discord consider supporting me on patreon links in the description down below to all those most importantly be good to each other have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.